hello everyone welcome back to the doing it is channel in this lesson what I'm going to do is custom rules for example right now we have let's go to a module and go to companies model right now okay so right now we have this public function rules which say that some of them are required, some of them are safe to be searched, some of them are strings and some of them should have only 100 characters as the max length and all that. So right today what I am going to do is I am going to validate the start date. For example, if the start date that is not larger, I mean smaller than today, for example today is the 11th of February I think yesterday is the 11th of February and the start date cannot be 20th of February so what I'm going to do is uh, I will validate that and if there is an error I'm going to show it like we show it here like here so that is what I'm going to do today so let's start so let's first say that the company start date should be validated with um, name of the function that we are going to use so check date I'm going to say check date and I'm going to create that function public function check Oops, check date and it's going to get the attribute attribute and the params Okay, so what I'm going uh, so today is let's get the date of today. So date and it's y m and d and if the attribute this dot start sorry company start date is can I do this? Um, larger than today larger than today can I I'm not sure whether I can do this I should basically create another object so selected date this is selected um, date and say date and pass in this value I think I should do that otherwise I don't think it will work anyways let's check selected date and if the selected date is large than today we want to send an error message so this add error and this will take the attribute that we will be the attribute is going to be the company start date and here is the error message uh, company start date must be must be before today a date before <laughs> must be smaller let's say keep it simple must be smaller yeah okay so after we do this actually it, for this to run this is not going to run in the client side we have to make uh, the company being uh, company validate with Ajax validation so let's go to the company and give enable Ajax validation true true yeah so let's first check that whether it's working and uh, yeah it's working so we are going to sending a request whenever we are going out of focus so that is that next there we have to do a small thing in the controller section where we are checking if this is the ajax call request validate and if there's any errors please send those errors to the form this will be done with this particular code so i'll explain the code after i copy and paste so we are first checking whether it's an ajax request and if so and if the we are going to load the post values that have been submitted and we are going to send another response format called with json is the response response format and we are going to validate the particular model and that will uh, check date and if the date is larger than today then we are going to give it an error of this ok 
okay so let's check select a date yes it's working perfectly company start date must be smaller okay that is how you actually create custom functions or custom rules so all you have to do this is what I mean simple as that um, yeah so I think that covers today's uh, lesson uh, I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials I will create many many more tutorials and keep the requests coming and have fun developing ye and yeah subscribe and thanks for watching take care bye